Hello guys, in this video we will learn about the difference between SQL and NoSQL. So we will cover this difference with examples. Let's begin. So guys, SQL follows the relational model that is the RDBMS model. That old school way of creating tables with rows and columns. So this is what SQL supports. And NoSQL is completely different. It supports various formats like document and storing data in the form of key values, graph nodes and other stuff. So SQL came in 1970 so you can say more than 50 years it's been around and no SQL just came in late 2000 you can say. Examples SQL is basically RDBMS so all the databases related to RDBMS will get covered under SQL. MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle all are part of RDBMS and all these are based on RDBMS. Regarding NoSQL, the biggest example, one of the most trending databases right now is MongoDB, which is document based. With that, we can also store data in the form of key values using the Redis database, using white column, using Cassandra and HBase. So the usage here, SQL is generally used to store data in the form of tables, rows and columns. Let's see an example. At first SQL, you can see the SQL example. We have shown MySQL here. As I told you before, SQL saves data in the form of rows and columns. It's based on RDBMS that means based on relational model. Relation between rows and columns in a table here it is. You can see the relation between rows and columns. So these are our columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 employee ID, first name, last name, employee age, employee zone and these four are our rows. Okay. So as I told you tables are having rows and columns and a database is having a collection of tables. So this is what we call SQL. That is as I told you tables with fixed rows and columns is what we call a model for SQL that is a relational model. Okay now talking about MongoDB I told you before it saves data in the form of documents key value pair that is completely different from SQL. So this is the document based MongoDB database. We have four columns here ID, department name, department manager and department rank. So you can see the database here under NoSQL under MongoDB. Documents have fields and collections is having documents like tables is having rows and columns in this collections have documents and fields and database is a group of collections in the same way in SQL database is a group of tables and this works for MongoDB but it saves the data in the form of in document based form or key value form okay so this is what we have shown here document based key value form white column form and graph form in NoSQL so completely different from our old school conventional SQL schemas it is rigid and it is flexible NoSQL is a flexible database you can say you can store the data in all these forms different forms document key value graph multi record asset transactions so it is supported by SQL here in NoSQL doesn't support it but MongoDB will still support it so asset transactions are basically an acronym for atomicity consistency reliability and durability these are basically database operations and this asset ACID is known as asset properties or you can say asset transactions. So guys in this video we saw how we can differentiate SQL and NoSQL. So for SQL the biggest example is Microsoft SQL and for NoSQL MongoDB is our example. So guys thank you for watching the video. If you liked it do subscribe to our channel number things.